Okay, good morning, guys. Very uneventful night, as I expected. Got a few things done. Well, move some stuff around. And I think it is finally time to head back home. We have come quite a ways. The world is now 34 meg in size. And we have gotten quite a bit accomplished in terms of exploration. I'm going to go ahead and record the journey home because I'm just going to follow the compass this time like I did last time. So hopefully we will run across a whole bunch of interesting things on the way back too. Alright. Let's see. Straight this way. Alright. I swear I saw a creeper. Yeah, there he is. Trying to get in my way. Whoa. Surface iron. I will have to stop for that. Come here, creeper. Come here. Hey, hey. Too close. Alright. Much better. Very nice. Little six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks of iron. Cool. Ooh, ten blocks of iron. And some evil things I hear splashing around somewhere. Okay. Alright, time to set off for home again. guys. We have stumbled across our own torches again. We must be getting close. Hmm, let's see, how off where are we right now, anyway? Oh yeah, we're getting really close. Hmm. No safe way down from other on this side, though. Let's see if we can get down to those torches. Wow, there's 
Come on, there's got to be a way down. Come on, game. I need a way down. There we go. That should work. And now we can kind of just follow the torches back. Should be kind of interesting to wander at night again. Um, with the zombies. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> really hope this doesn't come out too quiet for you guys. I don't know what's going on. It seems like there's something in my throat all day. Just can't seem to project like I used to. I don't know. I know last chapter there was a lot of stuff that was really loud. Or at least seemed really loud. And yet, every time I've gone back and checked the audio for everything I've recorded so far, it always seems so quiet. I need to make torches somewhere here. This is getting crazy. Oh, goody. Oh, this is a nice safe place to get shot. <laughs> really? You better be below me, zombie. Because I gotta do this quickly. Alright. Shush, I'm doing things. Alright. Alright, compass says go this way. Alright, he must be below. I'm not seeing him anywhere. Yeah, probably off that way somewhere. Oh! Oh, we were really close. Okay. Did we actually somehow loop back around? That's crazy. Huh. Wow. Yeah. We somehow went in a giant circle. <laughs> we went off in the opposite direction from our house, and somehow we ended up right back. Well, I guess it's not too surprising. I was uh, just following the compass back to spawn. But still, that I ended up perfectly coming back this way in a big circle. That's just funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm going to cut it here and meet you guys back at the house. Alright guys, welcome home. We are back, safe and sound. Managed to get away with all sorts of goodies, and not die once. I am very happy with that. And we have got quite the respectable supply of gunpowder now. We got enough for nine, bo nine boxes of TNT. That is good news. Something to have fun with maybe later in the caves. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put everything else away. Got plenty, plenty of clay. I mean, look at this. We have so much now. It's just, it's crazy. Look at this. Wow. So much clay. That's going to make a lot of bricks. So we are definitely going to need something interesting to make with them, all of them. And probably most important of all, we found a pumpkin. Ugh, I can rest easy in this chapter anyway. We're definitely going to have to find a way to get more of them, though. Okay. Put away our mushrooms. Got a good supply of those, too. And let's see. And let me go ahead and put these away. And what else? Extra wood. And... Tools. So, yes. I guess if you guys haven't picked up on it just yet, I believe... This is the end of Chapter 5. Probably the shortest chapter we're going to have, but... Not too sure what else to do but explore. Which, let's see just how much of that we did. Thirty-six meg. That is almost thirty megs worth of exploration we did in this one chapter. Oh man. We have done plenty. <laughs> we have found tons of coal. We have found a pumpkin. 
We've got a lot more gunpowder. We got a bit more iron just from wandering the world, which is crazy. Found a couple caves, not too much. Did a little exploration of around here. Went off that way. Went off that way. We went off that way, and we kept coming back from over there. So we've done quite a bit. I think I am just about ready to call this the end of a chapter. And we have skeletons in our front yard again. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it wasn't too terrible of a chapter. You aren't regretting your vote now. But I'm pretty sure I said earlier, I really have no idea what to talk about when I'm just wandering about. There is one last thing I wanted to check out before we call it quits. And that is... What's down there? What's under our overhang? Gotta be something interesting, I hope. I did take a tiny peek. Come on, keyboard. Stop disconnecting. Thank you. Took a tiny peek when I was finishing up some stuff for Chapter 4, but I didn't see too much. I dropped one torch and was like, oh, okay, time to back away. Hmm. Uh, let's see. This is kind of crazy. Uh, I think you guys like that. <laughs> Very big drop. Making our way down slowly. Mm, got a spider already. Those beady red eyes. Hmm. Trying to find a good way to make my approach. to hop up on the tree. There you go. Not that that helps against the climbing spiders. There we go. Okay. And you can see there's that little hole from up there. It's this nice little column of light. Alright. Let's go ahead and light up the rest of this area. The heck? Where did they even come from? Ah, yeah. This I saw and I was like, okay, no, no, I can't go even think about it. Holy crap! I can't even possibly think about looking at what's in that cave off screen. That just wouldn't be right. Ah. Do not do that, creeper. Jeez. He must have come from up there. Yeah, I hear you, spider. I just... I don't care. Let's see if I can get up there. Okay. I'll do this. Huh. Ah. Don't know if you guys remember way back in episode one or two. We gathered some stone from up there, and I noticed there was a zombie jumping up and down. He was right here. This was the spot. Not the cave I thought it was. <laughs> Yep. Hello, creeper. Wow, you still got a lot of darkness over there. Whoa. That just, that's a straight drop. That's nice and dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I think this is where the creeper came from. Okay. Well, that's what's on the other side. There was another bit of cave here. Or not. <laughs> uh. 
Mm, what's all this? I cannot believe how porous my mountain is. It's crazy. It's like, how does this thing even stand? It defies gravity. And probably a few other laws of physics. Okay. Well, I believe... <laughs> except for lighting up that little patch there, which is unspawnable. That just about covers it for us. Really wanted to know what that was, so I'm glad we got to do that on screen. Let's see if we can find a way back around. Back to the house. Ah, yes. Ugh, I gotta stop doing that. You'll see some torches here you don't remember me placing. I ended up cutting that part of the video. It wasn't much. Just this little pass-through thing here. And I noticed it was really dark and I thought things could spawn, so... Drop some torches. That was probably back in our cave chapter, chapter 2. Okay. Well, once again, guys, I wanted to thank you for all your votes, your comments, and your subscriptions. It means a lot to me. I wanted to thank you again for watching. And thank you for, well, everything, I guess, for choosing this. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. And I can't wait to see what you guys pick for Chapter 6. I'm going to go ahead and stop here and give it, give it, eh, give some thought to what those choices should be. And I will see you guys back in a few seconds with those. All right. See you guys soon. Okay, guys, I am back. I have given it some thought, and I have our new choices for Chapter 6. Hope you guys enjoyed the music from this episode. I actually didn't get to use the entire thing, given how much time I was using to speed up. If you really enjoyed it, you can go ahead and check it out. I will have a link at the end of this video, as well as in the description below, so if you really liked it, you should check it out. Now, that I have gotten that out of the way, you'll notice that... We are officially with the LP in 1.3. Hope you guys enjoyed my fun with Minecraft ep little video. I had a lot of fun with putting that out. You will also notice that we have better light back on. And as I said in that video, I'm going to be, I believe, pretty much using that for the rest of the series. Depending on the situation, I think. There are some times when I'm in a cave where I've noticed that I don't enjoy it, so it might get turned off from time to time then. But otherwise, we are back with this officially. Ah, hello, Minecraft Day. What a beautiful sunrise. Okay. So I guess without any further delay, let's get into your choices for Chapter 6. Alright, number one. We can finally go and get even with those nasty spiders from earlier in this chapter, the ones who just jumped us out of nowhere in the middle of the daytime, and finally construct a string factory and show them who's boss of this world. Number two as I had failed terribly at it many times in this chapter, we can actually try the more, well, I don't know about traditional, but the, mm, how do I put this? The more effective, the more factory-like ways of getting records from creepers. Number three, go back to spelunking, mostly for resources, but also for the tons of fun you get from doing that. I don't know, I think, as I explained earlier, caves are my favorite thing in this game. Just the, the mystery of what's around the corner, am I going to get creeper to the face, is a spider going to jump me and kill me in the night? Just stuff like that. So number three is spelunking. And number four, yes, we are going to have number four again. I know many of you want to see mine tracks. You have been asking for it since I made that tunnel. So... Well, before I say that, let me go ahead and say that... I have mentioned that I don't believe we have enough iron. Let's go ahead and take a look. We did pick up a bit of nice surface iron while we were wandering, and I did smelt that off screen, so we're doing okay. But I still don't think it's enough to for tracks and carts. But number four, see how far what we've got can take us to make a mine track from spawn to home, or at least the tunnel underneath home. So with those four in mind, Give it some thought. Vote for your favorite choice in the comment section below. Thumb, thumbs up the one you like, and go ahead and respond to that 
comment that I leave for the poll with any specifics you'd like to see happen with that choice, as usual. And again, as usual, I'm sure I already mentioned it, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, leaving comments. I love reading them all. And I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about Chapter 6. So with that, this has been Nocturne again, and I will see you guys again next chapter.